So hey folks, uh, you know, I want to say happy Thanksgiving early on. This is the day before Thanksgiving. And it's been a minute and I feel like, well, it's fun to make some uh, pie and I want to make a sweet potato pie. So I have right here is steaming, but it's these, these are three sweet potatoes that I've shaved their skin off of and I've boiled. Now that I've boiled them, I'm going to start adding my mixtures to it. So I'm going to start off with the simple part. Now I don't need a lot of this. I'm gonna grab me a small spoon. I'm gonna show you my amount because it doesn't take as much. Right here, I have my spoon, my cinnamon. I don't need very much cinnamon, but I want to taste some cinnamon. So, this is cinnamon. I'm mixing into my mixture right here. Now that I've added my cinnamon, my next part, because I might add more cinnamon, so bear with me, folks. I've added the cinnamon. Now I'm getting ready to add me some sugar. Now I've added my sugar, my next little phase, keeping it simple, is some vanilla extract. One, two, three caps of that vanilla extract. Now I'm about to add me some ground nutmeg. Healthy serving sport. I'm going to add some taste to there. Two and a quarter teaspoons of butter. And a little bit of, not very much of, a little bit. It's my choice how I want to do this. Got me some milk. I'm only adding a little spike of milk into this. That's all. Now that I've added these different little mixtures right here, I'm kind of frustrated. I got a lot going on in my kitchen, folks, and that's my fault. Rinse my master off pretty quick. I'm going to add some more stuff to this in a second, but so far now I'm about to start mashing. Twist and turn as you mash, folks. Twist and turn. You twist and turn as you mash, you're gonna, it's going to come out better. Twist and turn, folks. Twist and turn. Now, while this is in mid-mix, I want to make sure that I add another step. Not very much. This is salt. I'm going to add a, a sprinkle of salt. And then I've added that salt with a good balance of, I'm going to add me some brown sugar. Brown sugar. One mix. One more spoon. Brown sugar. Now I'm about to mash. Why this mix is mixing on, it's starting to come together. It's still a little thick, but it has a good smell to it so far. I'm gonna mix. Twist and turn, folks. Twist and turn as you mix. Now, I feel comfortable enough to tell you I'm gonna add me a little bit more butter. Not very much, just to taste. Just to taste. So, I'm about to add one more teaspoon of butter, but I'm gonna add it while it's frozen. And the reason why, because as it's mixing about, it would, you know, just dot butter along the way so it can evenly distribute itself. So I'm going to keep on mixing until this butter melts. But I'm going to keep on mixing. You see the butter right here? It just keeps getting everything touching it. But mixing it about, adding into it. It smells very good already. A little drier than I hope, and that's okay. Because I might add me a little bit more milk in a second. Smell there, the sugar is already added, the butter's there. There's a slight thickener, not very much. Everybody's different, everybody chooses this. I'm gonna add me a small sprinkle. You don't have to, everybody choose, chooses different. But I'm gonna add me a pinch of flour. And then I'm gonna say, you know what? One more pinch of flour. And I got my flour base in there. Turning, surely but turning. Come on, turn, turn, turn. Keep that butter mixing. Turn, turn, turn. Add a little bit more milk. Only a sparkle of milk.
Now I'm about to mix. Feel the consistency of that. It's very good. Get a little spoon. Just to taste the filling. It's good, but I'm gonna add it needs it to be safe. Grab the brown sugar. As you can see what I'm adding right there. And a little bit more white sugar. One more cap of vanilla. And instead of using regular pie crust, I'm using graham cracker crust. Now we got the filling. Next step, grab your pie crust. As I said, I got graham cracker crust. I'm gonna open this graham cracker crust up. Slowly getting it turned about. Getting my crust open. And I got my crust open. Be easy with this. I get this slowly, easily filled in. Now I'm about to get my crust filled in. That feeling turned about. Paint those corners, folks. Little spots. Sorry, just no corners, but those little open spots. Don't want no air bubbles in your pie. Now I have my stove going at 395. I'm going to keep it there because I got cornbread going right now. So now that that's painting this up about, add a little bit more filling. And I think that's maybe almost as smooth as you're going to get. But well, take a couple steps further. And I'm about to do the next pie while I let this set and cool slightly. Next crust out. Graham cracker pie crust. <laughs> Get my mixture right here. Mm -hmm. Take those corners, folks. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Shape the side a little bit more of the filling. All right, folks. That's how you do your pie. Now the next step is stove it. Now I got the stove going at 395. I'm gonna let this bake until it gets a nice, you know, golden hue to it, and from there it's done. I say 15 to 20 minutes, and it should be ready. All right, folks. To the next.